With how much time YouTubers spend playing video games, it shouldn't be any shock or surprise when they end up setting a, a world record or two. Welcome to Chaos Gaming. Today, we are going to be looking at gaming world records that were set and held by YouTubers and streamers. Drop a like, guys. Make sure you have those notifications turned on on the YouTube side and on the platform side, wherever you need to turn them on. Let me know if you've witnessed any of these records when they actually happened. And let's go. This month's giveaway is for your choice of a PS5 or an Xbox Series X. All you have to do to enter is drop a like, make sure you're subscribed, and leave a comment with your Twitter handle so we can get hold of you telling me which one you want. The winner is picked at the end of the month. Good luck. Starting things off is the Fortnite kill record by FaZe High Sky. You guys probably know all about High Sky. He uh, is one of the youngest esports players in history, currently 13 years old. Now, despite many big personalities walking away from Fortnite, High Sky has continued to grind it. And back in October of this year, he managed to break the world record for the most kills in a match of solo squads. He managed to drop a whopping 62 kills in a single match. Now, keep in mind, he's 13. Next time you think about your lack of achievements, just think about this 13-year-old who's not only signed to one of the biggest clans or teams organizations in the world, but he also now holds a world record in one of the biggest games in the world. Yeah. Doom Eternal Any% percent Speed Run by Seeker TV. Now, Doom speed runs are pretty much a staple of gaming culture, and the rebooted series has carried on that tradition. So how long does it take you to finish the Doom Eternal campaign? How long did it take you guys? 12 hours? 13 hours? Well, uh, if you're Seeker TV, the answer is 20 minutes and 33 seconds. You heard me right. They finished Doom Eternal in 20 minutes and 33 seconds. They utilized a few map exploits and loading screen glitches. They were able to zip through the entire thing in less time than it would take to watch an episode of Seinfeld. Yep, beating this game is hard enough on its own. And then there's people like this that just rub in the, they rub the salt in the wound for the rest of us. Speaking of speedruns, the Minecraft speedrun world record by Dream. Now, Dream is an extremely popular Minecraft YouTuber with over 12.5 million subs. And as of the recording of this video, why I say popular, I mean that. Now, this dude gets eight figure views on pretty much everything he uploads. Back in June of this year, he was able to break the world record for a Minecraft speedrun, starting a brand new world and killing an Ender Dragon in 22 minutes. Now, that may sound silly to talk about speedrunning in Minecraft, but if you play this game at all, you know how accomplished and hard that would actually be as a feat. Kudos to him. Super Mario Odyssey Any% percent Speedrun by Mitch. Now, the Nintendo community is always eager to get some new speedrun records going, and this one by Mitch was, it was insane. Mitch is a relatively small YouTuber who primarily focuses on speedrun content. Back in July of this year, it managed to hit the finest achievement yet, completing Super Mario Odyssey in 57 minutes in 54 seconds. Now, Mario Odyssey is a huge game, so finishing it in anything less than a day is impressive to me, let alone finishing it in less than an hour. Given the Nintendo community is extremely passionate about speedruns, I wouldn't be shocked if this record is broken soon, but for the time being, uh, he deserves a thumbs up. Good job, Mitch. Blackout solo kill record by Huskers. You guys probably know Huskers pretty well. He's really made a name for himself in Warzone by going for these insane kill records and being considered by many to be one of the best players in the world. A lot of people forget he was slaying back in Blackout as well. He actually held the world record for solo kills for a while. In this game, he managed to get 31 kills in a solo match. And remember, Blackout had 100 person lobbies with no respawns. This record ended up getting broken a while later, but he held it for a while. And with how many people know Huskers now from Warzone, I wanted to remind everybody he's been a monster for longer than just Warzone. Speaking of Warzone, Warzone buyback kill record by Doom uh, Ace. This one's just dumb. What's your best game in Warzone? How many kills? 20? 30? How about 155? Back in September, a smaller YouTuber and streamer goes by A's and is part of the Doom Clan, managed to get a ridiculous 155 kills in a squads game of Warzone while playing the buyback mode. Now, I know, this may be a little disappointing that it was in buyback, but come on, that's ridiculous. I mean, that's 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 insane. One match, 155 kills, props to him. Sticking with the Warzone theme, the Warzone squad kill record by Vicstar123. Now, this is the record you were probably looking for. Not in buyback, not in Zombie Royale. We're talking about the real deal kill record for normal squads in Warzone. It was set by none other than Vicstar, a huge YouTuber and streamer in the Call of Duty community. He's been grinding Battle Royale games for a long time and he makes super entertaining content. I've known him for a long time. Back in May of this year, 
He and his squad managed to drop 138 kills in a normal squad's game of Warzone. There are so many things that have to go right in order to pull off something like this, and it's insanely impressive that they were able to do it. So, next time you and your team drop 30 kills or 40 kills, just remember, well, you're nowhere near the world record and you probably never will be. Me either. Most kills in a Gears 5 King of the Hill match by Dome Z. Now, Gears of War may not have the hype and community it used to, but those who follow the game, they know that the people are super passionate. Gears 5 may not have been a gigantic success that Microsoft was hoping for, but it still has a hype community with some awesome creators, and Dome Z blew everybody away with this world record from April of 2020. While playing King of the Hill, he managed to drop an insane 187 kills, which is, I mean, as far as I can tell, that's the world record. For those that don't play Gears, it's extremely rare for somebody to get 100 kills in a match, let alone 187. But the funniest part of that that this game was, despite Dome Z dropping 187 kills on his own, his team last, or they lost. Uh, you can only carry so hard. Valorant kill record by Hey Katie. So how about some small YouTuber love here? Hey Katie is a YouTuber with a few hundred subscribers who used to focus on Apex Legends, but then took some time off before Valorant came out. And now, uh, well, okay. That doesn't mean we can't acknowledge insane achievements here. So in July of 2020, Hey Katie managed to drop 77 kills in one game of Valorant, giving them the world record that I think is still held today. So maybe this will be the motivation they need to come back to YouTube because they're not doing anything right now, but I, I think the Valorant community could use a little more insane gameplay just like what you're seeing. And at number one today, uh, Modern Warfare multiplayer kill record by Hammy. I saved the most controversial one for the last, right? Modern Warfare's multiplayer was certainly met with mixed reception, but most people still managed to find some enjoyment on shipment. Well, Good luck enjoying the game if you had Hammy on the other team. Hammy is a YouTuber with almost 41,000 subs. In December of 2019, managed to drop a ridiculous, you ready? 693 kills by themselves in a match of hardcore domination on shipping. Let me say it again. 693 kills in one match. So why do I call this controversial? Well, you can probably see why in the gameplay here. I mean, but still, 693 kills. I think that's the most I've ever seen in any Call of Duty match on any Call of Duty game in COD history. So regardless of how you actually pulled it off, I mean, well done. At some point, you have to swallow your pride and just tip your hat. And there you have it. Those are video game world records set by none other than YouTubers and streamers themselves. Let me know one that should have made the list that was deserving. I hope you guys have a great day. Check out the videos on the screen now, and I'll see you soon.